Hi there, I'm Construction Gamer, and this is a UK mod showcase for Transport Fever 2. It's been a while since the last one, so there have been a few mods that have uh, come out since the last episode, but I'm just going to feature some of the more recent ones that have come out and some of the ones that I wanted to particularly highlight myself. There's um, a couple of reskins, there's new trams which are very exciting, and there's these as well. I always try and feature a steam locomotive if I can in the episode and this one is as usual by Steve M4 with his prolific steam locomotive production and this time it is a Stania 8F 280 these should start to become available for about 1935 if I'm if I'm to believe Wikipedia anyway I think they were built from 1935 to through till about 1945 uh, there's a couple of different varieties here. We've got a London Midland and Scottish LMS and a London Midland Railway, I think, LMR, blue colour there. Uh, I will just go to the back. We've got some kind of black, which I usually say are like freight variants, aren't they? I think on the back as well. And I think there are some European ones, perhaps, because these were exported far and wide, according to the information on the Steam Workshop. These are pulling another Steve M4 mod, which is the Midland Railway Compartment Carriages. Now, I don't have a date for these. I did try and have a little bit of research. There doesn't seem to be anything in the description, but we do have a good selection of these. Really, I think these will be quite early. These ones are a bit more modern-ish with the two bogey layout. I think that's got two bogies. It, yeah, it should have. And then there are some... You've got two two sets of axles there and then you've got a triple axle you've got a few triple axles and you've got almost like a almost like a bit of a caboose type brake van on the back as well it's not caboose is it is it? it's just a brake van that's what it is so we've got uh, two mods i know some of these might have been out for a while but as, as i said i haven't done one of these mod showcases for quite some time for various reasons we'll head over into the into a depot because there are a, uh, a few different variants of each of the mods to look at so we've got steam ones here down at the bottom i think it is so we've got this one the stania 8f uh, br black lms black now uh, what's that lms crimson and then you've got an L in lner black oh no <laughs> l lmr not london midland railway longmore military railway oh, that's uh that's a correction straight away and then we've got trans iranian railway turkish state railway yes yeah, so they were and then a war department like i said they were built from 1935 through to 1945 and used during the war so what what have we got on the stats 65 miles per hour 2482 brake horsepower and i'm not sure what, what have we got around the same period i don't know we've got an, a, an a4 which is a bit bit earlier but yeah it is actually looking at those the speed might not be there but certainly the power is definitely there. 2,482 2, brake horsepower, 144 kilonewtons of tract tractive effort. So it's, I think, relatively slow, but I think the power is definitely there for the period. Uh, so next we have the passenger wagons, which are around here somewhere. The compartment car. These have, actually, do they all have the same? No, they don't. So we have the earlier ones, which are be the two axle ones, got triple axle ones and then the later two four axle double bogey cars so what we've got on a triple axle 75 this will be really early although because i have uh the mod on which allows all the mods to be released i don't have the date unfortunately didn't say a date in the description although there might well be one but that's got a top speed of 32 capacity of four so it's tiny and then 50 that's five going up to larger one with the triple axle 60 miles per hour capacity of 10 uh what's this one the six wheel again with the that is compartment coach the rid there's one that says yeah that's the rear so this goes on the back and i think that is like a brake house isn't it for the drum for the the brakeman or whatever he is and then there's one that can go on the front of a vehicle possibly yeah and then we go up to the the bigger the later one uh, top speed of 75 with a capacity of about 15 so what have we got around that period i've still got the lms period three coaches so got capacity of 20 but they are going to be quite a lot bigger i think is that going to be around the, yeah so it's about i think it's about right with the capacity for the period of that whatever the period it's going to be early isn't it for these so yeah there's uh 
couple of early, early-ish, early to meet to, to late <laughs> steam locomotives and compartment carriages. So it's just nice to have a good selection. Now, what we're going to look at next, we are going to look at something which is going to be the a tram, which is slightly different because it is, it's not, it's not exactly a tram. I don't think. I wouldn't call it a tram, it's more of a light rail vehicle possibly, but it is, you can see it's on rails and it is the Manchester Metro Link. It is the Bombardier Flex T Swift M5000, which you will see on the Manchester Metro Link. Available from 2009, so they are relatively new, but on they are not on tram tracks, as you can see here, because they are they're too big to fit on the tram tracks within the game. And they are more of a heavy, a, a light rail vehicle almost a tram train because they are you know platform height rather than road height which most trams are so you will have to kind of figure work this into your game if you want to use these a little bit but there are some assets to help you with that if you want to build like a really genuine looking Manchester Metro link or any Metro link I think there might be some other different assets and things on the way like platforms and things but there are there's, de there's definitely tracks which we'll take a look at in a minute at, at in a minute but i just wanted to take a good look at these first of all they do really you know they look, look at the level of detail on the roof it's just really good looking things so they're, they're good for like a tram train sort of metro system now we'll take a look in the depot before we look at the assets so these are classed as an electrical multiple unit and they're up there uh, top speed of 50 miles per hour so they're not rapid power of 653 300 kN tractive effort capacity of 30 and you've got a few different varieties of them there and the special liveries and things like that so you know a lot of a lot, a lot of effort a lot of detail have gone into these and they just look they just look really good and it's good to finally see them in the game i think it's a good addition you can see let's just take a look if we zoom right in you can see there the kind of front opens up so they can be coupled together usually if you're out and about in manchester these usually more often than not are coupled together in groups of four so you they do actually have what, what did i say the capacity was by vehicle electric so they've got a capacity of 30 so you know put two together you've got a capacity of 60 which isn't too bad it's not it's quite good actually if you're just building like a little shuttle service or something yeah they're really really good to go with those we do have some different tracks and things now we've got over here my little playground we've got assets so we've got ploppable uh trams that you want to put down i'm not sure what i think they're in yeah they're in are they in rail br signs no what i can't remember what i put them in now or what what they're grouped in rather not what i put them in they do have a little group all of their own yeah, so if you go to, what's this one here? This is track assets. So you can see here, you've got ones that you can plop down if you want to build a depot or something. And then going along, we have something we have. So we've got speed boards. We do actually, yeah, we've got speed boards, but we do have speed uh, restricted, restri speed restricted tracks as well, which you'll take a look at. So, but we've got these, we've got all different sorts of signs and things and buffers. Why if I just open that up? So with, with the buffers which snap, different coloured, grey, yellow, red, which snap to the track, which is a nice feature. And also the signs and everything, they all snap to the track as well. Give way, stuff like that. So loads of cool little signs. I think that's it for now. Was there anything else within the pack? Don't, what's that? No, it's just fencing. So yeah, that's all that's in that, is it? I think it is for now. But the creators actually should uh, didn't mention the creator so the creator of the flexi flexity swift 5 m5000 manchester metro tram is cw315 and the british tram signs track and signal by cw315 and jack and tg apes i probably pronounced that completely wrong but within that so you've got the assets and we also have the track as well so that's in just the usual build but it's got custom uh, custom switch motors custom sleepers custom ballast and custom track as well it does have you can see here has catenary because obviously these trams these particular trams light rail vehicles or whatever you want to call them are overhead 
but we don't have any catenary masts yet. Now that is on in the description it does say that and it does say that they are working on it to release some other different assets so catenary and things like that but as as of making this video it did not yet have catenary masts. Now what they did to produce the pictures they used the USSR CIS railroad pack which has different assets like the catenary masts and things like that but I was going to subscribe to that but it did that had some of its own dependencies and I just um, didn't want to get into the whole subscribing to a load of different assets if I'm honest but I did just want to quickly demonstrate this but yeah so if you want to have the masks until some are released for this then the USSR CIS railroad pack should be subscribed to it does have a couple of dependencies of its own in order for it to work but even the track on its own it does look really good you could even if we're going to here you'll see straight away we have the tram tracks different speed limits speed limited tracks to go with the speed limited the speed limit signs uh, goes all the way up to 70 which is more than fast enough but i suppose you can turn catenary off for now anyway if you didn't want to do the whole thing of subscribing to the different assets not entirely sure how it work you might have to use invisible catenary or something or other i don't know but yeah it is it does work it's fully working apart from the catenary masts and it does look really good let's actually zoom right in just to appreciate it if you use the camera mod you can zoom right in to see the custom switch motors which you know really a lot more detailed than the other ones and the sleepers as well all glitched into the terrain a bit there a bit, a bit too close maybe you should have used the one of the lenses but yeah just nice nicely detailed track to go with the trams so there we are next thing i want to look at i don't know why the game's paused is a the HSTs that there has been a load of HST liveries I'm not sure I've covered any of the new ones I might have possibly I can't remember now it's so long ago but we do have a good selection now of HST liveries so with this one we are looking at is the VTEC the Virgin Trains East Coast which didn't really last for very long did it if we're honest it there was from to when was it Virgin Trains 2000 and something it's about 2015 I want to say possibly when Virgin had the franchise and then it disappeared in 2018 so it didn't last for very long but it is it's quite a nice looking livery and it does live on on the east coast now did I put so I put the VTEC and did I do no I haven't done that I've only done the VTEC one but the east uh, east midlands trains east Mid yeah, east midlands railway oh dear what's wrong it's pretty similar it just hasn't got the virgin branding on the front so we do have that but we'll take a look in the depot anyway but we do have another one which is really cool which is the virgin one which is the virgin west coast this is available from 1997 and this is a bit of a classic i think now this one does have if you can hear it this will have the paxman volante engines on this one i think that's period correct for this particular uh, livery as well I just love that sound it just sounds awesome so yeah that's it's got the period correct engine for the virgin trains west coast hsts and the other one which is the vtec one the virgin trains east coast has the mtu engines which you can clearly hear the difference i think hopefully you can hear, clearly hear the difference between them I just think that's a cool little detail that the, the modders have gone to. And the modders are uh, the original, actually, for, for the Virgin Trains East Coast and the LNER HST pack is CW315, the Phantom, with the original model by Young Lennon. The BR43 Virgin Trains West Coast pack is Fun, Cal Fun Clive and Killer Cans. And then again, Young Lennon with the original model hopefully i've got all of those right possibly not but mention them all anyway get them in there it's just yeah looks great they're just going past each other as well nice so if we go into the depot if we go to buy vehicles and then if we go to all and we scroll right down to the bottom we have the pre-assembled consists so we've got the lner one here which like i said before should be available from about 2018 and then the VTEC one available from 2015 I think I want to say and then we do have the Virgin Trains West Coast a few different ones available of that as well so it's just it's great to see these HST 
sets becoming available and actually having said that before I forget within I think this is within the LNER VTEC pack is the East Midlands Railway set as well so the East Midlands Railway is just a LNER set with East Midlands Railway written on it so that's just another thing this really has been right through all of the uh, the operators this one hasn't it I don't think I don't think East Midlands Railway have any plans to rewrap these so you might see them sticking around for a bit longer with the East Midlands uh, LNER type hybrid livery and you can see I've got a few so these are the ones that come with the standard HST uh, the BR Blue, the Great Western Railways and the Intercity and then these ones are the new pack which is available and then what's this one I just want to take a look at West Coast Mainline Virgin Long not sure not sure what these are oh, but we do have actually as well which I completely ignored <laughs> was this which nope not that that's definitely not what we wanted to look at is my mouse is going all over the place for some reason just take a look at so if you go to all again and then at the very bottom mark three sets we do have the pretendolino which you will need why why don't you let me add so let's just let's get rid of that let's get a diesel and it will be one of these i don't think there's it's not a Pretendolino HST, is it? It's a Pretendolino uh, 91, I want to say. Do I? Possibly. <laughs> but we'll stick one of them on there, and then we'll go back to all. I just want to take a quick look at this, because I completely forgot about this, and I was actually excited about the Pretendolino, because it is just an interesting train. Let's just put it on put it on there for now, see what it looks like. See, because there's something missing on the back. You can see the little blue square. Speed the game up, let him get out of the depot. Is he going to... You gonna come out so in order for this to look better more realistic i think you do need the dvt the mark 3 dvt i think there's a either it's in the pack itself or why is that going so slow or it'll be an extra mod i should have uh, should have taken a look at that but i did did uh, completely forget for some reason about this two miles an hour coming out of here for some reason don't know why Maybe it is a bit of a sharp corner but i thought it would have gone a little bit faster than that that's just i just want to see what's on the back really Okay, I just had a quick look then at the, I think, looking at it is a, a Class 90 which pulled a Pendolino. And I think what is missing on the back of this is the Mark III DVT, which I haven't subscribed to or haven't t turned on. So that's what you'll get if you don't have the Mark III DVT in the Pendolino colours subscribed to. But yeah, it is, uh, it is like it says, it is the Pendolino livery on Mark III carriages and a Mark III DVT with a Class 90 on the front, which you'll need. In order to make this a genuine pretendolino so there we are don't perhaps it's going so slow because of this thing on the back it's just broken but i just wanted to see what it looked like yeah so there we are there's that sorry i forgot about that but there we are that's that's me for you so we've that's i think that's it for today i think um there are plenty of other mods that have come out and always as always with this there is the uh, UK mods collection in the link there's a link to that in the description below which has all the mods that have been featured throughout this series I'm not sure what episode we're almost on episode 25 or something now possibly we've done a fair few episodes of this and there are a lot of mods out so there we are I think I'll leave you with this because this is pretty cool I think as much as I like the, the HSTs I think I'll just leave you with this one I think a few people have been waiting for the Metrolink trams to come out. And I think I'll leave it there for today and say until next time, bye-bye.